Caddis Maximus here, this time with the EcoViva Countertop Water Reverse Osmosis and Ultraviolet Water Purifier and Treatment. This is not normally the type of product I usually review, but I mean, all these talks of PFAS and all these chemicals and microplastics, and they advertise this to deal with the PFAS. On sale, it's $210. Normally, it's about $250. And some of these things, they're one, they're become real popular, I assume, because of all the issues with microplastics. Not a, I wonder if that's a filter installation tool. Pretty well packaged. But some of these things are just super duper expensive, like $400 on Amazon. So this one's at somewhat reasonable uh, because it'll also heat water for you. So it just has a tank. Some are in line where you install under the sink. I assume this is just a little, oh, well, that's pretty in there, a little tray. But this one's just kind of handy because it is uh, just a self-contained unit. Once again, it heats water. So if you want to do pour over coffees, tea, that type of stuff, then uh, it's handy for that. And then it has like a TDS, Total Dissolved Solids Meter. You know, since styrofoam is found upon, they're using this better quality foam uh, in a lot of these products, and they actually are showing up better. This thing is actually kind of heavy. It does have a water pump for it because it has to pump it through a reverse osmosis filter. A reverse osmosis filter is a really, uh, it's like a, m a membrane, a super fine screen, so fine that they advertise here. one ten thousandth of a micrometer or a tenth of a nanometer pretty darn small so I don't totally trust the water in my area so I thought why not I can do a simple review and I can try out one of these on an average usage they're advertising about a year out of the filter if you register you can get a spare filter for free Otherwise, for this UV model, they're kind of spendy. 80 bucks. But it is neat that they're kind of producing these countertop filter machines. Uh, you know, kind of commercially. They're trying to be funny here. Required tools, enjoyable mood, because you don't need any tools. The big thing to remember, I guess this is the kind of the flow pattern. We have our input water, we have our filter, and then it has a post-filtered internal storage tank, and then it runs it through the UV last. I do like that it has a UV as just an extra uh, deal. Here's the one thing to actually remember is you have to fill the water tank when you have a new filter, you have to prime and flush it. So you have to fill the water tank, run it, and then you hold the 150 milliliter key for five seconds, and it'll drain its internal tank. And you gotta do that six to eight times. So you gotta repeatedly uh, fill it up, let it process through the filter, get the whole filter primed up. And so getting this out shouldn't be, well, this should be the, Okay, now I got it. This thing just lifts out. This actually doesn't appear to this little lid. These locking function is for the filter itself, and it is. It's hard to tell in the picture, but this filter is huge. It's like three and a half inches diameter, and the height of the machine, it is a pretty large unit. <clears throat> and that's what this plastic wrench. This is just a wrench to make it easier to, although, there we go, just to twist this. To unlock it or lock it into place. This cover just sits on top. This just pops off. You can lift the tank out and there's one thing loose in there which I'm assuming they didn't intend to have it fall out but there's this little puck here. We have two sides and well you can't see. It's a floating puck. You have two sides. You have a side with like a little seam and then a smooth side. Just dropped it. That drops down into this little slot. It floats, and I assume this little piece was meant to hold it in place, but it must have fallen out. And so that just goes in there like that. I guess you can pull out, take this apart just to clean it. 
So this is a float. It has a magnet in it, so when it reaches the bottom, it knows the tank's empty and to not pump dry. It also has a second magnet here to let, so it can detect uh, whether or not the tank is installed. So, whoop, a couple catches on top. Other than that, it doesn't have any kind of weird smell. I know some people will ask about that. Since it heats water, it actually has a pretty thick power cord. So let's just get this set up. Here it is set up, kind of a basic unit. These things are kind of well, bulky, I'm now realizing. But after spending some time, one, EcoViva sent out a bunch of review units. But secondly, reverse osmosis systems are the ones where they, the few YouTube videos where a bunch of different water filters and purifications are, pure purifiers, excuse me, are compared. Reverse osmosis basically always wins because it is such an effective method. And I'm gonna, you can hear the pump. The one thing that is to be known is reverse osmosis is a high pressure water filtration system. So they have, it has to have a pretty stout water pump to push through all the membranes. This would be a look at what they have, what the inside of that filter looks like. And then this is, we have cotton, uh, we have activated carbon, a fine, I wonder if PP stands for polypropylene. Um, I guess a scale inhibitor layer, which makes sense because it's very easy to clog the reverse osmosis membranes. And then oddly enough, a coconut layer, and then the UV is actually in the filtered output tank. Which is also the one criticism, since this has an inline heater, and it UV sanitizes as one of the last steps. It goes through the filter, goes into an internal tank, and that tank is wired up for the TDS meter, the Total Dissolved Solids meter. It's also where those UV lights shine, UV A and B, because that's what breaks down organic material. But because of those integrations, you can't, I would have liked to have somehow been able to service the output tank or the internal reservoir. But I also recognize the difficulty and since it has UV antibacterial, I think that's the second reason why they don't have it be accessible. And I do like the UV. I mean, if you let water sit in that tank, it, and it's always running the UV. Um, not continuously, but anytime water is moving or you're about to dispense, it's running that UV. And that just helps them make sure nothing funky is growing in that tank. And admittedly, that tank is receiving water that's just gone through a reverse osmosis system. So it's already pretty darn clean. Getting the little water tank back here is just a little bit funky. You kind of get it on there. And get it all set up like that. And here we go. So you have to go through this process of... Uh, filling the water tank, running it through, and then dumping out the water of the main tank, I guess just to help rinse it. And you're just doing a flushing. It recommends two to six times. I'm actually doing it ten times to start out with. And it's actually pretty quiet starting out when it's... And I think you can just hear that pump. And I, that's the one thing those videos don't really tell you or make it very audible is. There you go, you can probably hear it better. Is that high pressure pump? And that's probably the weakest point. You know, you can replace the filters, but that pump is only going to last so long. Not to say it's bad, but looking at forms and stuff, people who have had, I mean, our countertop RO systems and under under sink ones have exist existed for a long time, decades, <sighs> but they've just been really expensive. And so now they're dropping into the, you know, 100, 200, 300 dollar range, depending on, you know, model and type that you get. They're becoming much more, uh, you know, affordable, more being sold. And, you know, that's what I've read in the forums is that usually with these countertop ones, it's the pump. Some last a long time, like 10 years plus, but eventually it gives out. But with how dirty water is, and for some reason I have exceptionally clean water coming through. I don't know if it's telling me the water that's in the gray water tank or the water that's in the, um, 
I assume the TDS meter is post-filtered water, just, I guess, giving you, reassuring you. I mean, and the big deal is all these forever chemicals and microplastics and, you know, so many areas of the world where, and not just the United States, where there is just not the greatest water. That's kind of a big deal. You use one of these for when you're doing coffee, cooking and that type of stuff, and, you know, water that you ingest, and it makes a, you know, a big difference. Anything that's reverse osmosis. Oh, it says right here, 14 and a half. So 15 PSI is the amount of pressure it takes to push the water through the filter. I'll say the manual was actually written reasonably well. It was definitely edited by, you know, it isn't like traditional English. It's a relatively proper manual. So anyway, that just about sums it up. One thing, the last little tip is if you're going to not use one of these and unplug it, apparently you're supposed to remove the filter, you know, put it in a bag to prevent particles from getting in it, but you're supposed to store the filters in, on, in the refrigerator if they've already been used but still have life in them, like you're going to not use it for a period of time, and I never knew that. Store partially used RO fil reverse osmosis filters in the refrigerator. Anyway, I appreciate them sending this out to me. It's kind of neat to have one of these systems. And it has kind of oddball for my channel as an item like this is. I do believe in clean water. It is a water cleaning tool. And when it comes to things that, you know, can actually improve somebody's health by removing, you know, metals and plastics and chemicals and all that kind of stuff from water, I mean, that's actually kind of a big deal. What I wonder is how many minerals and that type of stuff it also removes the water, if it makes the water quote unquote more dry, which I suspect it does if you have super great filtration, then it's probably going to filter out some of the things that may affect taste too. Anyway, thanks for watching.